The family of 12-year-old Bayindamani Aicha Neichi lives in Bolanquillo village, some 60 kilometers from Brazzaville, the capital of the Republic of the Congo. A new road has opened in front of Aicha's home, and along with it, a new bus route. The 20-kilometer trip to the market used to be quite a distance, but today, Aicha and her mother enjoy the convenient transport service like those in cities. Rough tracks and rainforests had made travel difficult, which had affected the supply of almost everything. They also couldn't get to the markets to sell their crops. Avant, c'était difficile pour faire les courses. Maintenant, là, ça va. Et je quitte Boulanquio à 45 pour faire le marché. Là, j'ai fait le marché, j'ai tout acheté. C'est beau, vraiment, c'est beau. La route a changé ma vie. Healthcare and education were also problems. For a long time, the children had to walk about 10 kilometers to get to school and often couldn't make it at all when the weather turned. Today, Aicha learned from her father that Chinese workers are to build a new school near her village. When it opens, she will be only a 10 minute walk away. Aicha is counting down the days to when that will happen. Woman是工地多少是非常有名,马云被元素森林。我记得刚开始开工的时候,我们到工地上去,这个很多的这个女孩子出去上工地的时候都是带着那个养蜂子那个面罩。因为如果不带那个东西呢,出去一咬,然后
de notre pays, favorisant donc ainsi la circulation des personnes, des biens, et donc une importance économique, sociale et culturelle immense. Over the years, the African continent's economy has kept growing. Notable progress has been made with integration, with all countries recognizing the concept of Africa opportunity. Currently, cooperation between China and the continent has entered a new stage of transformation and development. At the 2015 Johannesburg Summit of the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation, Chinese President Xi Jinping announced 10 bilateral cooperation plans over a three-year period, with industrial and agricultural modernization at the core. It essentially gave greater incentives for Chinese enterprises to do business in Africa. Today, China-Africa cooperation is currently going through a transition of sorts, from being government-led to letting the market point the way forward, from goods trade to capacity cooperation, and from single business models of project outsourcing to various mixtures of investment, construction and management. With the arrival of Chinese enterprises, the vast African continent is gradually changing. Thirty-year-old Nahal was born in the town of Suez, in northern Egypt. Many people see her as a new woman, with a strong personality and courage to break traditions. Most of her peers are already married with children, but she is determined to do it her own way. Nahal has worked at the Egypt Teda Special Economic Zone Development Company for 10 years. Now its CEO, she regularly meets with enterprises planning to move in, whilst she also supervises the construction of the zone's second phase. The China-Egypt Teda Suez Economic and Trade Cooperation Zone is the first state-level industrial park built overseas by a Chinese company a product of cooperation between Egypt's Suez Canal Corridor Area Project and the China-proposed Belt and Road Initiative. During his visit to Egypt in 2016, President Xi Jinping and his counterpart, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, unveiled the second stage of the project. Now it has over 90 registered enterprises and has attracted investment of about $1 billion. على مصر عموما انا كنت متحمسه للفكره لان انا كنت من ضمن الناس اللي مؤمنه ان دايما المناطق الاقتصاديه او المناطق الصناعيه بتبقى من ضمن اسباب نمو اقتصاد الدول بدليل ان التجربه دي نجحت في الصين فكان عندي دافع وحافز قوي جدا ان انا لازم اطبق الفكره دي في مصر ونشوف هل هي فعلا the China-Egypt Teda Suez Economic and Trade Cooperation Zone is pushing ahead with a program to create a modern industrial city. The Chinese management model is going abroad, adapting to local conditions, serving more and more countries and bringing new hope. Nahal is also on the way to realizing her own dreams, carefully planning her future. She has also opened doors for the women around her, showing them just how big the world can be. There are thousands of miles between Egypt in the north and Namibia in the south. But despite the distance and their vastly different cultures, they share the same ambitions. Kerry B. Puahi is the only female truck driver at the Husab uranium mine in Namibia. Every day, she conveys high-grade uranium ore from the mining area to the ore pile. 
Such a truck is worth $6 million and weighs 45 tons. Kerry B. Puahi is proud that the job allows her to raise her family well. I am known as Kerry B. Hukununa. I'm 31 years of age. I'm a mother of a five-year-old son. So here I'm an old truck operator. What I do every day is, uh, on my truck, it's, it's more like we go load material. The Hussab uranium mine is by far the world's largest open-cast uranium mine with a designed annual overburden of 140 million tons and an ore extraction capacity of 15 million. The hydrometallurgy plant is designed to process the ore and produce 6,500 tons of triuranium octoxide every year. It has the capacity to meet the combined demand of 31 million kilowatt nuclear power plants until the middle of this century. The end products will be delivered worldwide. The project, when operating at full capacity, will increase Namibia's GDP by 6%. It has also provided 4,500 temporary construction jobs for local people but it should eventually create up to 2,000 permanent posts directly and tens of thousands indirectly. To the fellow young women out there, this is an opportunity that we gotta take. It's not really to say it's not based on like it's a men's world, so women are not even allowed. We gotta take the challenge and live up to the, to the name is the gender equality that we want. While the 10 special cooperation plans look to encourage Chinese enterprises to work in Africa, more new models and concepts tailored to meet local conditions are appearing thick and fast. In the meantime, as the more established Chinese firms in Africa try to absorb new blood, the lives of many ordinary people there are changing. Since the Sino-Togolese company expanded its facilities to produce cassava alcohol, nearby villagers have started to grow the plant in large quantities. Je suis cultivateur à Anier. Je, je, je travaille dans un champ de manioc. Auparavant, on ne faisait pas assez le champ de manioc. Maintenant qu'on a vu que la Cento a équipé beaucoup de machines pour la production de l'alcool, nous aussi on a augmenté nos champs de manioc pour les vendre. Bon, on est très content parce que ça nous aide à, à nourrir aussi nos familles. Akoi will deliver the cassava to the Sino-Togolese company near Asika village. The factory was built in 1984 with Chinese aid. It's now run by a Chinese enterprise. <laughs> Director General Maoshi has worked at the plant for nearly two decades. He has risen from being a 24-year-old translator to its general manager. Togo has become his second hometown where he has made many friends, developed his career, and created many unforgettable memories. We Maoshi often visits this small bar. He likes local beers and enjoys the enthusiasm of the customers. The bar's owner, Comlan, also works under him as a warehouse manager at the Sino-Togolese company. He once studied in China and can speak fluent Mandarin. The factory is like a second home and has seen him move from a hut to a cement house and make friends with many Chinese people. The bar is a place for workmates and friends to unwind and enjoy themselves. Besides the warehouse, Comland also interprets between the Chinese and Togolese. <laughs> 
我要生了五个小孩，每个月对我有工资，他们要读书。如果没有工作呢，我没有没有这么多钱。你讲讲，我很好了，跟原来不一样。原来是我在爸爸的家里面，我没有修房子。现在我要几个房子，我要三间，我要酒吧，越来越好。Today, the old China aid enterprise is at a turning point. Some people have settled down in their new hometowns, while some of the old residents are leading new lives. This is Freddy. Every day, he walks for over an hour to get to work. He has mastered a skill that is known to all Chinese, but few men choose to learn. Embroidery. It's amazing. You see, this earth, some people uh, it's like a Chinese uh, art, so I really like it. So this is why I've come here just for learning so that I can get the knowledge of this embroidery. Sometimes people, they, they earn money by working. You cannot see uh, how much money will, you, will, will, will make you like enough. Yeah, you see, that's why every day we work. We work only focus for the knowledge because you see if you have the knowledge in your mind you can do your best you can create your own one freddy enjoys his embroidery work at the company he also has a reliable boss ma xiaomei it's been over 20 years since general manager ma xiaomei arrived in africa after living in several countries she came to rwanda in 2014 with a strong faith and gratitude to the country, she really wants to succeed here. Today, C&H has become a well-known exemplary foreign-funded enterprise in Rwanda. Ma plans to expand her plant's capacity and trade in the future. Because如果我们的国家是运输的成本还有这边运输的时间在做外贸服装的时候确实是一个很困难的那我们就将这些问题反映给了卢旺达的政府卢旺达的政府也恢复得很快就说你们放心你们所有的问题我们国家都会逐
in this country? Moi, je dirais que la Chine nous aide beaucoup pour le développement de notre pays. Et il est la coopération la Chine Congo par rapport les bourses chinoises qu'on part étudier à la Chine et tout. Since ancient times, the Chinese nation has sought a peaceful coexistence with the rest of the world. Cooperation is a fundamental principle for Chinese enterprises pursuing development in Africa. It also prompts China and Africa to become eternal partners. CHEC51 is today setting out on a mission to assist a working dredger. The port of Abidjan is a key economic pillar for the West African nation of Côte d'Ivoire. In November 2015, its renovation and expansion project, undertaken by the China Harbour Engineering Company, officially got underway. Given the limited berth space and the need to maintain its normal operations, the Chinese firm decided to hand over different berth and water areas in phases. Finally, the roll-on, roll-off wharf was completed and delivered 17 months ahead of schedule, creating huge economic benefits for the nation. Because of the complex work, which required remarkable levels of cooperation, a special team was formed to communicate with the local team over the schedule of engineering ships. Bon, il arrive des moments où le trafic est vraiment dense. Et quand un check demande à sortir ou bien à faire un mouvement, lui demande de patienter. Et il arrive des moments où il peut patienter pendant deux heures de temps. Vous ne vous connaissez pas, que vous vous croisez. Les débuts sont difficiles, il y a un temps d'adaptation. Mais quand on a commencé à définir des procédures claires de travail avec eux et avec les bureaux de contrôle, les choses se passent très bien. A single thread can't make a cord, and a single tree can't make a forest. Cooperation with all African countries is a common responsibility for Chinese enterprises in Africa, and the China Harbor Engineering Company has been tasked with even more missions. Chinese-China-Harbor-Engineering Chun Lin is Deputy Shift Supervisor of Coletta Hydropower Station Operation and Maintenance Department. During her shift, she found something wrong with the 30 kilowatt Kai Kai Line 2 and asked Mao Min Hui's team to check it out. <laughs> Both she and her colleagues share the one goal, ensuring every converter station works well. They want to ensure everyone in Guinea has access to life's necessities. Guinea, on the west coast of Africa, used to experience dozens of nationwide blackouts a day due to poor infrastructure. It's hard to imagine. Power shortages which would severely hamper people's lives and work efficiency. The Kaleta Hydropower Station, built by China Three Gorges Corporation, began operations in 2015. The following year, overseen by Presidents Xi Jinping and Alpha Conde, the Chinese company and Guinea's Ministry of Economy, Finance and Planning signed the Kaleta Hydropower Station Shareholders Agreement. 
si vous voulez, le barrage de Kalita, quand je suis venu, vous savez, on avait un grand déficit. On n'avait que 110 MW de en tout pour le barrage. Grâce au barrage de Kalita, nous avons eu 240 MW. Ensuite, nous avons le barrage de Koukoutamba, dans le cadre de l'UMVS, dont nous avons attribué la, le contrat à Sino Hydro. Il s'agit maintenant de négocier le, le financement. Ok. Woman 我手里拿的这个两万几郎，这个店呢，这个就是比也是比较有。比较有意思这是Aicha's Pour, trans pour me transporter à Brazzaville, c'est un peu difficile. Ici, on prenait seulement les motos, mais c'est un peu cher, 5000 francs. Maintenant, là, avec 2000 francs ou 1000 francs, j'arrive à Brazzaville. Avant, quand il n'y avait, euh, avait pas le goudron, je, marchais sur, je venais seulement à l'école à pied. Maintenant, tu as un peu de moyens, tu peux prendre le bus pour venir à l'école. Si tu es un peu loin, mais les autres viennent seulement comme ça. Nous, on est proche de l'école. Donc il y a eu un progrès certes, mais je pense qu'on peut faire mieux. Les entreprises que nous recherchons, Nous savons qu'aujourd'hui, il y a des dizaines de millions d'emplois en Chine qui sont prêts à être délocalisés. Et donc, toutes les entreprises qui peuvent euh, délocaliser leurs emplois au Togo sont toujours les bienvenues. C'est un programme ambitieux, 60 milliards de dollars. Et je crois que près de 90% ont déjà été euh, quasiment euh, alloués à différents projets. I am looking forward to that summit. I think Africa is also looking forward to that summit. And Africa, we are cement together at the level of the EU. If we come together and we partner with China, I think that will benefit the whole of Africa and it will benefit the Gambia. Today, China and Africa have united due to their new aspirations for development. The people of the two lands are now joining hands to achieve win-win cooperation, inspire more vigor and vitality, and drive forward in this new era for both. <laughs>